case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1997, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Washington v. Glucksburg, which centered on the question of whether the government can prevent people from seeking assistance in ending their lives in order to protect vulnerable individuals and preserve the value of human life. At the heart of the legal case was Washington's law banning physician-assisted suicide. The state of Washington and its attorney general were the petitioners, while physicians Harold Glucksburg, Abigail Halperin, Thomas A. Preston, and Peter Shalit, along with Compassion in Dying, a nonprofit organization that counsels people considering physician-assisted suicide, were the respondents. In 1994, the respondents and three gravely ill pseudonymous plaintiffs filed a lawsuit in the United States District Court, seeking a declaration that the law was unconstitutional. The state of Washington's law prohibits causing or aiding a suicide, and the court considered whether this violated the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment. However, the court ultimately found that the Due Process Clause of the Constitution does not protect the right to commit suicide and receive assistance in doing so upholding the ban. The court ruled that the assisted suicide ban was reasonably related to promoting and protecting significant interests and did not violate the 14th Amendment. The Court of Appeals' decision to overturn Washington's ban was reversed, allowing for ongoing debate on physician-assisted suicide in a democratic society. The case was remanded for further proceedings in line with the Supreme Court's opinion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.